what goes around comes around this has come true in more ways than one at accept an ngo that treats and rehabilitates people afflicted with aids the ailing patients are treated at the accept campus on the outskirts of bangalore the man behind the organization that saved more than 1900 lives is mr raju mathew and people come from all walks of life mostly destitute and needy they come here they are given good counseling they are given medical help they are given opportunity to find a job if it is available anywhere we also started a children home we have about 24 hiv positive children who are full orphans their parents have died to aids and their families don't want them the society don't want them schools don't take them normally before it could begin to care for its patients accept had to overcome some obstacles 13 years ago accept was built on a piece of barren land too far from the city for government agencies to supply water the land being devoid of water accept found it hard to meet the water requirements of the growing organization we had difficulty with water we dug three bore wells one of it was a failure the other two there was water basically in the rainy season but in the other time water was very less this was a major concern because we have a heavy conception of water for the patients for the staff for the children's home for the agriculture for the dairy and all of that we have a lot of water consumption need what goes around comes around and for accept it came around in the form of a rainwater harvesting system that was donated by KPMG Sunil from the Rainwater Harvesting Club was the lead designer of the project I was called to see if I if I could help them out with their with their water management because they were having a lot of trouble in the sense that uh, because there's about 60 people when it's full and you know they were more or less depending on the tank of water in summer and you know the tubes were drying up so they wanted to do something about their water management systems the rainwater harvesting system involved two components the first component was reusing the rainwater all the rainwater that fell on the roofs of the buildings was drained into gutters that lined the roof from here the water was filtered before being stored in underground tanks this is roughly about 25000 liters and all of this water is used back and the pumping is over at time and this is used also for drinking you know this goes into the aqua garden people use it for drinking The second component of the rainwater harvesting system involved recharging the groundwater table. The rainwater falling on the open land was funneled through stormwater drains to recharge pits that were dug adjacent to bore wells. And what's more important about this recharge well is because this recharge well is very close to the bore well, maybe about 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 two and a half feet, three feet distance. Okay, the yield of this bore well has gone up and gone up gone up quite 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 substantially. While there was water to satisfy the increased patients, staff, farms, and cattle, there were problems disposing the sewage. Waste water, the toilet water, because of average hundred people a day, uh, the waste, the kitchen waste, the bathroom water, and all of that, we have no place. We are not in the main city. There's no uh, sewage uh, line. It's all going through the drain to to a well nearby. and it is also going to pollute this was a major concern and what we were doing we were paying huge amount for the sewage truck to come and pump this waste very regularly and thousands of rupees we were spending each month what goes around comes around and this time it was another ngo called aragyam that came forward to fund a sewage treatment plant Vijay 
from Argim was the project in charge. At around the same time, Argim had been looking to support the installation of a, of a particular sewage treatment technology. This was something that uh, had been invented and patented by Dr. H. S. Shankar and his associates at IIT Mumbai. So they had done something that uh, hasn't been done anywhere else as far as we know. The sewage treatment plant was based on soil biotechnology which used the natural process of soil formation and microbial action to purify sewage water. The all-natural process meant that the sewage treatment plant ended up looking like a garden. It also meant that there were no moving parts and that there was no need for power. The wastewater from the bathrooms and toilets is flushed down to a septic tank. Here, the water moves slowly from one baffle to another, allowing the solid waste to settle. The water is then pumped to the sewage treatment plant where a grid of tubes spray the water onto the rock and soil medium. The water gets filtered as it percolates through the medium and the filtered water collected in a tank used to irrigate the fields. It's a tremendous help. A big burden is removed from us and in a very simple and natural process. I am not a technical person to explain all about that but I know it is working very well and that water uh, is now used for uh, the agriculture here mainly. It is making the place is going to look more green very soon and it is going to yield fruits and other things uh, and agriculture which will help this patient in turn. Whatever that income comes from that will be a great help uh, to the people. Now, now the entire system works like this. Now the Entire entire roof area is captured and the water is reused. And uh, the water that's falling on the campus, they're also uh, recharging most of it using recharge wells. And also, next step is then all the grey water and the black water also is getting used for irrigation purpose here. So if we try to put put all of this water work together, it's a zero discharge area. So there's not a single drop of rain rain rainwater which gets wasted, not a single drop of wastewater that that gets gets wasted. At Accept, literally what goes around comes around. <laughs>